This is a uh, 95 Mustang. So you keep asking me in the videos for some explanation of some of the sensors and stuff like that. So I thought I'd go over it real quick. So this is your th thermostat sender, as they call it, or connector. I've heard many different names, but it's right there. So if your gauge in your car is showing is not accurate, um, you would replace that sender there. This is the temperature sensor here for uh, the computer. This is what tells the computer the actual temperature. And it might look different, like if you look at this car over here, it may look different. The replacement unit that Motocraft sells is a, a different sensor. You rewire the pigtail and all that, as you can see here. So if it looks a little bit different, it's, it's not a big deal. This is your act sensor right there or um, ACT, uh, air charge temperature sensor. This is the same sensor as that would be on the intake on a Fox body. It basically just, if the intake temperature gets too hot, what it does is it um, retards the timing. So generally um, the replacement ones are metal because it's a universal between the Fox body. But if you go to replace that, don't be surprised if you might be confused because the one that came with it was plastic underneath here which i can't show i'm not gonna pull it off but i have other videos of replacing that is your mass airflow sensor used by the computer to know the temperature of the air um down here here is your oil pressure sensor you can see it's right next to the um so if you're having uh oil pressure sensor problems in your car that's the sender sensor for the oil pressure oil position sensor this is your idle air control valve here. Always recommend you replace them. So you might care about is the one that's the EG, EGR um, uh, position sensor there. A high pressure sensor for your AC. If this goes bad, the fan won't come on. So um, check that. If you ever have your fan not coming on, I do have a video out there how to test and see if your fan's broken or not. So check that out. This is your high pressure sensor and this is your low pressure sensor here so both of them have to be in line for the fan to work correctly and for the and one of the ways you'll know if one of these sensors is bad if you turn the air conditioner on in your car and the fan doesn't come on you know these sensors are not working uh correctly i'm sitting in my um 95 Mustang and I thought I would go over some of the sensors that control these gauges here. Now I'm not going to talk about the fuel gauge. That is a float that's in your fuel tank that's connected to the fuel pump. Um, so I'm not going to go over that. Your uh, This temperature gauge is controlled by that sensor right there. So if it's not working right that is a sensor on your car. It's right next to the distributor. It is not this sensor here. This sensor is um, for the computer to know the temperature of the coolant. Um, oil pressure, oil pressure sensor there is, um, that's where your, that is the sender sensor for the oil pressure gauge in your car. If you, the voltage sensor here comes from the computer itself, but here's where it gets a little tricky. If you actually get the light on, but you're showing okay on the gauge here, the gauge looks fine, it's right in the middle, but you're getting the light on. Green wire on the your 3G alternator. So if you're having that light come on, you might, you have to check this green wire, but the computer will show the actual voltage and the voltage regulators on the alternator on these cars. So um, I find that that, the voltage is usually fairly accurate on these cars. It's generally not a problem, um, unless there's really a problem with the alternator or the wiring or a ground problem. It's not a problem the ground gets corroded on these cars and you just have to check the ground strap. Or if you still have concerns, sometimes you have to run a separate ground, or actual ground to the alternator itself. So just keep that in mind. 
So if you get the light, check your green wire. If you're actually having a problem with the computer it's showing low voltage, generally you'll have other signs if you're having a low voltage, like the car will start to stall or the lights will start to dim or maybe your lights aren't as bright as they should be. I find that 90% of the time it's either the wiring harness or the alternator that's bad. And these alternators do not last that long, so it's not uncommon they have to be replaced. So if you like this uh, video, go ahead and smash the like button below. Um, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell if you want some notifications. See you next time on Chasing Mustangs. Thanks. All right, Great cool. job. Yeah. I see it like literally every day. <laughs>